As both the U.S. and its adversaries ramp up space operations, digital modernization is crucial to ensuring that the nation has the capabilities necessary to maintain its position in the growing domain, according to Colonel Roy Rockwell, Deputy Chief Technology Innovation Officer for the Space Force. McNally Capital and NEO Advisors have invested Accelerate Solutions with the intent to help drive the defense and national security company's growth strategy. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit rejected in a unanimous ruling the Biden administration's mandate that requires COVID-19 vaccination and face masks for employees working on federal contracts. NASA and Northrop Grumman have agreed to jointly develop and test systems that can support the use of unmanned aircraft systems in air cargo operations and the rest of the national airspace. Centera, a Constellus company, has won a potential 10-year, $1 billion contract from the Department of Energy to provide security services at the Savannah River site in South Carolina. Epic Solutions, a radio frequency tool developer backed by Veritas Capital's Vantage Fund, has acquired avionics processing technology maker Xiphos Systems Corporation. Army Undersecretary Gabe Camarillo said the service plans to spend approximately $290 million on cloud migration efforts over the next few months as it works to become a digital-first organization. A former Ventures and Partnership Program lead at Northrop Grumman, highlighted the need to further incentivize prime defense contractors to invest in technology innovation startups, to accelerate military capability development. Join Potomac Officers Club's Mission Partner Environment and JADC2 Intersection Forum on January 19, 2023. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. Science Applications International Corporation will compete for task orders to provide systems engineering and technical support services to the Federal Aviation Administration, through SAIC's prime position on the $2.3 billion SETI's contract vehicle. Andrew Shinsky, former Vice President of Business Development and Strategic Growth for Department of the Navy Programs at Aon, has transitioned to a new role as VP of Navy and Federal Civilian Agencies Growth at the Data Analytics Company.